Hello again. Bit of a different video today. Different setup. Um, painting the battle wagon. I'm going to take you through step by step how it's done. I'll uh, show you it finished quick. Cool. But yeah, we'll take a better look at the end. So, hope you enjoy the video. And I will see you at the end. Peace. So most of it was already painted, but I just went over it with a, a black. Obviously, I didn't get all the areas, but it's fine. So step one, black. Step two, I use a 50-50 mix of leather brown, earth brown. You can use anything as long as they resemble these two colours. I mix them together and I just paint haphazardly all over. Not trying to be neat, apart from on the wood. Whereas you want it covered. Step two. Step three. Rise of Rust. Just uh, again, very slapdash all over. Don't need to concentrate on edges or anything like that. Just get it on but make sure it's a bit lighter than the brown so you can still see the brown too. Next step, coming up. Step four, silver. Now we use it even lighter and focus on the edges, but give it an all over dry brush. Cool. Now, before we start the next step, what I'm doing is I'm picking the panels that are going to be different colours, i.e. if your goths, your black, if your evil sun's your red, bad moon's yellow, whatever, whatever. I'm freebooters, so it's going to be a bit of everything. And I'll just pick it. This is like a prime layer, so I'll prime it a blue-grey, so it's kind of neutral. And I stay away from the edges and I just stipple all the way around until it's sort of covered. If you leave little patches like that, that's fine. It just adds to the effect. So I'll do that all over and then I'll come back and do the colour. So I've not done all the panels. I've just done some panels because I want it to remain a, a rusty. But I've just picked out some of these in the blue, well the blue grey, as act as a undercoat. So I'll go down now and pick some different colours for each panel. Put the rest of the details in. I'll paint the wood, paint the flag, and then it'll be basically done. Then all we need to do is throw a wash on it, let that dry put some rust effect on it with the dirty down and then it'll all be finished so yeah I'll pop back on when I've done the colours and the details and we'll have a look so step five is now complete of course the guinea pig starts step five is now complete panel details wood details I'm just going to shove a wash all over it and then we'll show you it when the wash is on and then after that it's just picking highlights and painting the banner. Sweet. Wash complete. Now for this wash it says Agrax but it's not Agrax. I used Two paintbrushes worth of contrast black templar. I used the brown mix from step one. I brush each of that and half like this much black ink and then just shook it. I ended up with a really dark brown grungy wash. 
And you can see it here where it's puddled a bit too much. But yeah, if I do that. It's a bit darker than Agrax, but I like it. Looks cool. So yeah, still need to paint the eyes on the goblin and a few other bits here and there. And then when that's dry, I can put the dirty down rust on and we are done. Sweet. So I've moved into the kitchen where the lighting's better. It's now finished. The rust has been put on. I threw a bit of snow on it. Quite happy with how it turned out. Oh yeah, I took to the arc in that I painted. As you can see, it's still a bit wet in places. But yeah, it turned out really nice. Matches the rest of my army. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed this little how-to. I use the same paint job on all my vehicles, so they all look the same. Tune in next time. Wow.